Alright, so guys, welcome back. Anyways, um, took me a while to find that bed. Um, I actually had to place my own bed down and take a nap. Anyways, it's back to being daytime again, which is what I wanted, because, you know, I wanted to, uh, listen to some music as I showed you guys the, uh, next district. And so, um, anyways, we're gonna take the pathway into the fourth district now. So let's go in that direction. It's, uh, quite a ways away, in fact. So let's head there. It's, uh, um, anyways, it's pretty far away. So let's get over there. Um, let's see here. Got a nice bridge system set up here. I think I like, and I got some pine trees growing here. They look really nice, I think, with the, these ridges. Um, wait a minute. What the? This pine tree is kind of in the way now. It wasn't in the way earlier. It must have grown bigger or something. I need to get rid of this. Um, find this new spot. Oh, where's my pine tree? Oh, I must have another one. Let me find it. Let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there they are. I got two. Okay. Let's see here. Where can I put this pine tree? How about, um, how about over here, maybe? Oh no, that does not look right. Ah, oh, that's uh, that's gonna go. Ah, uh, well, let's see. Um, hmm. Oh uh, darn! I was hoping to really keep that pine tree in this spot here, but it's just too big. Ah. Okay. Well. Um. Let's just move on. Yeah. No. Yeah. I'll find a different spot for that for that uh, pine tree later. Um. Anyway, so if we take this pathway down here, it actually leads into the fourth fourth district. And this is actually the uh, train station for the 4th District. So, with the train, uh, they don't actually use the train. They have their own train that they use, obviously, which is a tiny little minecart. It's not an actual train that they use. They just use a minecart. But here's the train that I use <laughs> so to get around. Um, anyways, and I'll probably try to ride that later and show you guys how far it goes and all that. It's not the best train track in the world, but... But it is my first attempt, after all, so. Okay, and then I've got a house over here that's a private residence. It kind of doesn't really... It kind of clashes with the style of this 4th District. So I'm probably going to remove it at some point and put something else here. Because um, uh, I kind of wanted to make this 4th District kind of like a Hodo-style type uh, district. Um, anyways, I got some melons growing in this... this uh, field here. Not a lot. I'll have to uh, get more. Don't have a ton of melons currently. But, uh, yeah, I got some melons growing over here. Then I got a nice little bridge here. And then over here, I've got butter beans growing in here. So, that's nice. And then over here, you see we have some signs here. And, um, let's read one. Poison Swamp. So, as you see, this there on the other side of this wall here is a poison swamp. And, um, what else is here? We have uh, poison slimes. Cautions. Poison slimes. So originally there was a bunch of poison slimes that were living in this swamp. And the residents, well, they would have to... Uh, there was, the 5th district is actually on the other side of this swamp. And so the residents kept walking back and forth and getting attacked. And it was just a big mess. And the only residents actually went over there anyways were the ones that lived over there. Which... Which is not something I wanted. I wanted to attract other residents there, too, for other reasons. But I also wanted a different way to get in without actually having to go through the swamp. But I also didn't want to get rid of the poisonous swamp, because I thought the poisonous swamp kind of was kind of a kind of cool, I thought, to put it there. So I found a different way through. And I'll show you guys that uh, different route to take later. But there's no poison slimes over there currently. I made it so no monsters can actually spawn here anymore. So I don't have to worry about a stupid scorpion coming out of the middle of nowhere, attacking me. Even though it can't actually hurt me, it's still... It's still annoying to get attacked by a scorpion when you're trying to build something. Anyways, uh, um, obviously there's not much in this area. I'll probably put some trees or something at some point. This whole area here is still under development. Um, I still, I'm probably going to put a house there. I'll probably put a house there, and I'll probably put a house over here as well. Um, but like I said, this is still under development for sure. I've got lots to do here. And then I have a nice, you know, um, obviously with the Hodo Pack, i got a nice style house here. 
kind of Japanese-esque type of residence. Um, uh, nice table. And uh, over here I have a projector screen. At least that's what I like to call it because it kind of looks like a projector screen. So I kind of think of this as the old-fashioned TV set. And then uh, down here I got that nice little... Uh, uh, you know, bamboo fills up with water and makes that nice, pleasant sound. You know, I like that. That's pretty cool that they added this to um, Dragon Quest Builders too. That's pretty cool. I like that. And then if you look up here, you'll notice there isn't a roof up here. I did that on purpose. I wanted this area of the house to be outside, so it is. It is outside mostly, but the rest of the house is inside. So I mean. It's just this section. So you see, if you come in here, and yeah, there's a roof here. So it's just that part. Anyways, we got the... And then we have a, a nice deck out here as well. Um, with a couple of benches to sit on. and Kind of a nice view of the bamboo if you decide you want to sit on the, you know, the bench. And then, of course, um... Oh, I'm getting hungry here. Just, uh, hold on. Pardon me. I gotta eat. Yeah, there we go. 90%. That'll work. Ah, tree. I don't want to hold on to this block. Hold on. I want to get my hammer back out. There we go. Um, hmm. That's annoying. Maybe I should just drop the stupid block. Anyways, in here I've got, um, obviously the room. Uh, you know, nice, nice style beds and everything and nice little room. It's not very big. Obviously I'll need to make this bigger probably. I love the sliding doors, though. I really love these sliding doors. They're really cool. Uh, definitely, absolutely love the sliding doors. They're cool. And these lanterns are cool, too. So, yeah. This district is going to kind of have all of these houses looking like this. And then, obviously, more bamboo growing here, too. But that's pretty much it for this district. District 4 here. There isn't much else here currently. I still have a lot. Wait a minute. What's going on? Where is she... Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, I hate when residents do this. I build paths so they can take the paths to get around. I don't like them, you know, using these shortcuts. Let me just see if I can seal this up so they can't, you know, just simply take a shortcut through this ridge. Normally, if you didn't have the uh, seal of Eredric, that area would be infested with monsters. And they'd get attacked constantly. So... I definitely don't like them using that for that reason. But even though there's no monsters up there right now, I still don't like them using it. What's the point of building all these nice pathways if no one's actually going to walk on them? Anyways, let's let's move on. Hopefully that will help a little bit, at least, with uh, keeping them from doing that. And anyway, Anyways, if you take this pathway here, it takes you to this little secret uh, passageway that will take you to the 5th district. And so, um, anyway, so let's, let's take this little pathway, this tunnel, uh, safe passage to Hodo Valley, which actually, this is Hodo Valley. I, I'm going to have to remove that sign at some point, because this is the uh, Hot Springs district. I call this the Hot Springs district. Yep, so this is the only district I'm actually going to name, because it's the only district that's done. I don't have anything else I'm really going to add to this district. It's already pretty full. I'm pretty much done with it. I don't think I'll add anything else. So that's why I finally gave it a name. The others are not done yet. Oop, lone rest shack. So we have a nice little lone rest shack. And there are some uh, residents that live here. And uh, it still attracts residents that don't live here too. So she doesn't live in this house yet. She still comes here. So um, anyways... Here's the uh, private room. It's kind of full at the moment with beds. It's not a really big room. But um, anyways, first attempt at this little tiny area. thought I'd utilize it because it used to be just a ruined old house. And I completely, completely tore it down and turned it into a brand new house. And then over here we have a nice little backyard with a uh, bamboo kind of like a fence almost. And then... Uh, we got a nice little pagoda type uh, pond here on the right, so that's nice. And then, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Little 
uh, lone rest shack. But that's not all I have here. I also have, um, you know, produce growing here too. And I have a nice big pond here in the middle. Um, so over here is the uh, buckwheat. That's what's growing over here in this corner. It's buckwheat. And then uh, I also have rice all the way over there, and I'll show you that later. Ooh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put these pine trees that I have over here. Um, let's see. That one here. Uh, uh, let's see. Does that look good? Uh, it looks okay. I think that should be fine. There. And then I still want to find another spot for the other tree. Let's see. Where should I put the other one at? Um, hmm. Well, maybe not. Anyways, uh, let's continue on. Then up here I have the actual hot springs. So I've got the hot springs up here. And, you know, it's kind of nice. A little steamy spa. Um, and residents will come here sometimes and they'll bathe. If they can, you know, if they're nearby, obviously. Um, if they're all the way back in District 2, they probably won't make it in time before it's time to take a nap. You know, nice big pond. And then, um, over here I have, um, the rice growing over here on this side, obviously. So that's really nice. And then we have a keep door locked. You know, that was a sign put there before I got rid of all the monsters, obviously. And here's the poisonous swamp, which we'll be taking back now, back to the 4th uh, District. Um, you know, it's not the best looking poisonous swamp, but it is poisonous for sure. Um, anyways, so that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys for uh, this town of Green Gardens. Yes, I've got two of the towns, and I'm, I'm going to show you one of them briefly, but and see how much... Uh, I'll show you. Let's take the train and go to the other town first, the um, the Oasis town, which, you know, that has the pyramid, you know? Ah, I can't get the train to work for me. Oh, well, I'm not going to worry about it. So, yeah, this train goes to that pyramid, and obviously I also actually have a town here inside the pyramid as well as uh, by the Oasis, but it's not even close to being done. It, um, it It's not even close to being done. It's... Not nearly as nice looking as uh, my Green Gardens area, that's for sure. And then, let's take the train station to the next train station that's in this town. <laughs> and so here's the other train station, so now we're back in District 3, but we're going to carry on and move on to the next town. And see, told you, they use the, you know, they use the carts too, they use the train. Oh, there we go. Let's do it this way. Okay, and that's it. Now, I still have a lot of work to do on this town. Um, I got the castle obviously built and looking pretty nice, but it's not nearly done yet. But over here I have the actual town that's part of this town where all the buildings are really at, except for the castle, obviously. I've even got some produce growing down there. Um, actually, the leek is actually growing down there, and that's the only spot where you actually can find the leek in any of these towns. So, um, then we got a shop here, and um, a music hall is here. So, it's, um, you know, it's part of the steamy spa, you know. Uh, so, I've got the hot springs right next door for the Stevie Spa, so that's kind of nice, and uh, this was my first Steamy Spa I ever built, for sure, it's really nice, at least I think it looks really nice, to me it does, and then um, over here I have the hotel, so, uh, you know, they, you can, uh, uh, obviously it's okay, and then, you know, plenty of beds here, I think I'll take a nap, See, lots of residents like to sleep here, for sure. So it's a nice nice little hotel. Wait a minute, the music's still... There's no music. Oh, it's still raining. Are you kidding me? Uh, I was hoping it was going to be done raining by now. But it's clearly not done raining, which is kind of a drag. So I guess I'll just leave it at that. Thank you guys for watching these videos. I'll see you guys in the next video, for sure.